that men can't multitask. I can. I can fuck up six different things all at the same time. <laughs> Your wife ever asked you to undo the pickle jar? Oh, it's like throwing down the gauntlet, isn't it? The poison chalice. Undo that for us. Yeah, no fucking problem. <laughs> Worst thing you want to hear? What? Can't you do it? <laughs> So give it here, you twat. <laughs> I've loosened that. <laughs> and mobiles are getting smaller. The trouble is your wife's handbag's getting bigger. Have you seen your wife when her mobile goes off in her bag? She disappears for a week and a half. <laughs> you can hear her in her bag and like, where's my fucking mobile? <laughs> Size of women's handbags. Now, it's not an handbag anymore, it's a body bag. Me and my missus, we was going out the other day, we were standing in the hallway, I said, oh, I said, it's all right, love, I'll take the rubbish out tomorrow. She went, fuck off, that's me bag. <laughs> Is this huge? Still had the fucking horns on it and everything. <laughs> and men never go in women's handbags? No. Man has explored deep space, even landed on the moon. But if your wife goes, yeah, it's in me bag, you go, right, well, you fucking get out. <laughs> I am not going in there. I've seen things going there and they ain't come out. <laughs> See, I don't like it when my wife gets in her bathroom. Do you know what she's done now? She's put that hand cream in there. She says, Lee, use the hand cream after you wash your hands. Fucking never again. You can't get back out. You've got no grip. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm stuck in the bog. And she never got the door, not that face on. Oh no, no, oh no, I'm not gonna have that door that I made, I'm not that me face on. No, but the fucking postman will knock on their door. Get that, I ain't got me face on. <laughs> I ain't got your face on, what, you lost your fucking face? <laughs> oh, you can't see a real face? Oh no, it's like living with Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> no, don't look at my face. <laughs> then she fucks off upstairs to put her face on. Where are you going to play your organ? <laughs> Look like them when they're doing their makeup. Have you noticed? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and why is it with women, as soon as they get to a certain age, suddenly all blokes have got departments? They say stuff to other women about them. You're not going to, oh, he's all right in that department, thank you very much. <laughs> suddenly they change all blokes into a branch of fucking Debenhams, you know? <laughs> they do, they have chats amongst themselves, women. They, I said to him, I said to him, I said to him, I'm not going near that department, thank you very much. <laughs> They never speak like that to blokes. That would freak you out, wouldn't it? You know, if you ask a girl, do you want to go out for the night? And she went, yeah, but listen, there's your reception, there's your waiting area, but you'll have to make an appointment to see the managing director. <laughs> and... <laughs> and no one gets to see the chairman. <laughs> anyway, we don't need doctors in our house. Nah, see a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. I don't know what that means, it's just the same. My wife keeps coming out of these sayings. I think they're from the ancient book of old wives' bollocks, I think. <laughs> you start coming down with anything like a cold in our house, she turns into the village sorcerer. I'm serious, you'll sneeze once in our house. Eh, two! Oh, starve a cold, feed the flu. <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? She should be wearing one of those pointy hats with the bell on the end, playing a flute and fucking hopping around the kitchen. <laughs> you mention any health problem in our house, she turns into fucking Dumbledore. I've got a bit of a sore throat, love. Oh, sit down thrice and row a boat, catch a stoat, and this will clear your throat. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That would stir a lot of confidence, wouldn't it, if you was in hospital just about to undergo open heart surgery and the surgeon was standing there with a clipboard going, don't worry, it's a relatively simple operation. All I have to do is fly a bat, hither and back, this will cure your cardiac. <laughs> My wife always does that. Whenever we're going out the door, you know, whenever we're going out the door, do I need a coat? Do you think it's going to get cold later? Do you think it's going to... Do I need a coat? Oh, 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 oh. Just a minute, love. <laughs> yeah, as you can see by the isobars, just sweeping in from the... How the fuck do I know? <laughs> what am I fucking met office? <laughs> oh, no, women never take a coat out. No, no, no. They don't need one. No, they've already got one. It's lovely and warm. I should know. It's called fucking mine. Because <laughs> you know when you're out and they start doing all that shit, you know? <laughs> Ah, oh, 
love. Do you want me coat, love? And they're going to their Titanic Kate Winslet on a piece of driftwood routine. <gasps> no! I'll be all right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, love, have me coat. You know the one I brought out for me to keep me? Fucking warm! <laughs> I didn't know my wife was such a criminal. Have you ever stayed in a hotel with your wife? Fucking hell, she becomes like a burglar overnight. She turns into one of those bank robbers you see in the films. We'd be leaving the room and suddenly she starts scooping all the toiletries into a fucking handbag. Go, 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 go. I'm standing there, what are you doing? We're here for another fucking two weeks. <laughs> what is she gonna do with all these miniature bottles of shit anyway? <laughs> She'd be up the pub the next day. Psst. Do you wanna buy a shower cap? <laughs> do you wanna buy a feminine hygiene bag? Ugh, how many you got? One. <laughs> My wife keeps telling me where she's going, keeps telling me where she's going. She's just nipping up the shots, just popping up the toilet, nipping, fucking popping everywhere she is. <laughs> Women have their own timing dimension and no other fucker knows. What's a nip? What the fuck's a pop? <laughs> is a nip faster than a pop? <laughs> you know, is that a nip? And that's a pop. I wish they'd tell us, because my wife does it all the time. We'd be driving through the ice street, she just gets out of the car and fucks off, I'm just nipping in here. Don't be fucking nipping anywhere! <laughs> I'm on the double yellow line here. What am I going to tell the traffic when she starts nipping out a ticket and popping on me fucking windscreen? <laughs> my wife can be completely paralysed just by getting ready to go out. Normally, it's just after she's painted her toenails. I'll ask her to do something, she'll stand up and she'll go, Lee, I can't move! I've just painted me toenails! And I look down and she's wearing what can only be described as a fucking sponge knuckle duster. <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's like she's got each toe in stocks. <laughs> yeah, they're all drunk that they're in on varnish. Help her! <laughs> she's drunk the... You ever played Spot the Difference with your wife? It's fantastic. She goes out, gets her hair done, comes back in and goes like, ah, da da! <laughs> You're standing there going, now I know this one. <laughs> She's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're like, no, no, I got it earlier, you had a really happy face, now you got a fucked off one. <laughs> See, I think my wife is trying to kill me, I really do. We'd be in a restaurant, she'd go, here, I think that chicken's off, taste that. <laughs> fuck off. You can have the trots, I'm not fucking getting them. <laughs> this is fucking Ebola, I ask. <laughs> and what is it with women? As soon as they reach a certain age, their temperature's all over the fucking place. Uh, women in general, anyway, you get in bed with a woman at night, fuck, they're hot in bed. Jeez, the heat, fuck. It's like, it's like getting in bed with a bubbling cauldron. <laughs> Even the hot water bottle's going, fucking open the window, we aren't boiling in it. <laughs> Your wife walks around the house going, and it cold. It, it, feel my hands. Feel my fucking hands. <laughs> it's all right, love. I trust you're not going to open the freezer and feel up like the peas and see if they're lying. <laughs> and then she'd go, like, and it hot. <laughs> and it hot. Oh, oh, fucking. I'm sweating. I'm sweating here. Fucking hot, cold, moisture. It's like living with the Russell Hobbs kettle. <laughs> That's what your wife does. She goes, I was cold, so I put the eating on. Then she goes, <laughs> and it hot. She goes round opening all the windows. Let some air in. Let some fucking air in. Then she go, in it cold. In it fucking. I'm sat on the couch in an overcoat and some swimming trunks. I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> anyway, I can't see my wife on a parade. After two minutes, she'd be hanging on to me, going, "Oh Lee, I'm not walking another fucking step. <laughs> These fucking shoes." Because <laughs> she does that. My wife would buy some shoes, but not normal ones. You wear on your feet. Oh no, 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 no. That's too fucking easy. <laughs> No, because the ones she buys, no, 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 they're special, much more trendy. Because the ones she buys, you don't wear on your feet, you take off halfway through the night and end up holding your hand. Do you know them fuckers? <laughs> if we're going out for the night, right, we leave our house and she'll have her shoes on her feet where they're fucking meant to be. She'd go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. I love these shoes. <laughs> fucking love these shoes, Lee. As the night progresses, you'll see her go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. All these fucking shoes. <laughs> Shoes. No! I'm looking at her feet going, oh, trendy, blisters. <laughs> I'd rather 
love her, she just took them shoes off. Because whenever she keeps them on all night, something really weird happens. Has your wife ever done that? She's had those shoes on all night. We'd get indoors, right? She'd disappear off into the bedroom to take those shoes off. And suddenly, you can hear all these sounds of ecstasy coming out the bedroom. All you can hear is this. Oh! 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 Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah, just there. Oh, yeah. I'm standing in there hallway. Who the fuck <laughs> is in that room with my wife? <laughs> and here's the freaky bit. When she reappears out of that bedroom, it's a completely different woman. Why is it with women when they get in from a night out? That really glamorous person I was with seconds ago <laughs> is now wearing an old baggy tracksuit <laughs> that makes her look like she shit herself. <laughs> A pair of old slippers, a house kind, no fucking makeup. She walk out that bedroom going like, ah, uh, 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 that was a fucking top night today. Uh, go on, you've got to admit it, that was a fucking top night. I'm standing there. Who the fuck are you? She went in that bedroom looking like Winona Ryder. She come out looking like fucking Sean Ryder. That would have topped that one, Chitley. <laughs> her behaviour changes as well. Five minutes ago, we was in the car having a sophisticated conversation. Now she's on the couch, a mouthful of chocolate. Do you want the quality straight? <laughs> Here, do these trousers make me look like I'll shit myself? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> Here, I've just finished that book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you fancy an early night? <laughs>